And apparently there are four of us, and now, let's have them say it. Welcome back, back to the Idea, idea machine. machine, you're, you're watching, watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Super Kaboom, oh yeah! yeah. Oh. Kaboomy. Kaboom, oh yeah! Kaboom, oh yeah! Here we go! Here we go! Upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your head. Yeah, yeah. Wasted, feeling, going, speaking. You know why you crossed the line when I said that you were mine. Going, skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Machine Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. So, right now, hot off the press is Marvel Universes Beyond is coming to Magic the Gathering. So, what does this mean? We are going to be getting Thor. We are going to be getting Captain America, the Avengers. We're going to be getting the X-Men. We're going to be getting Apocalypse. We will be getting Magneto. We will be getting Thanos. The Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Stones, Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, you name it. If you wanted to build a Spider-Man deck full of spiders, now is the time because Universes Beyond is coming to Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast. So um, right here, it was just actually announced, yeah, just yesterday actually, um, that um, Magic the Gathering... Okay, will be in partnership. Hasbro will be in partnership with Marvel, who is currently owned by Disney, who has a game called Lorcana. So why not have a Lorcana Marvel mashup? Why did they allow this to happen? Well, might be because um, still uh, you've got Marvel as a separate entity, even though it's owned by Disney. And maybe because Disney needs the money because they lost so much money in making all those movies that nobody watched. So... Right now, uh, you're going to have pre-constructed decks. They're going to be commander decks. They're going to be modern decks. There's going to be jumpstart decks and a whole host of other cards. So um, you're going to be seeing reprints. Maybe now they can finally name the Hammer of Bogardon the Hammer of Thor. Maybe now they can have Thor and Loki in Magic the Gathering. Maybe now you can have Captain America. Maybe now you can have like Lady Death, Apocalypse. You can have Magneto, Mr. Sinister. Um, you can have a bunch of uh, other Marvel villains like Thanos, like Anehylus, like uh, Dormammu. You've got the Fin Fang Foom, the Mandarin as a planeswalker, hmm? Doctor Strange with time, the Time Stone, which could be like an infinite uh, time walk. Now, what people are really looking forward to is this. The Infinity Gems. Since some um, serialized one of one ring did very well, now would be the perfect time for Magic the Gathering to introduce a new cycle of gems known as the Infinity Gems or Infinity Stones. Now, um, you can perhaps make them just like the Moxin, that they can produce specific colored mana like white, green, red, black, blue. And this could be like colorless or any color for the reality gem since it's basically a gem which bends reality. So it could be any color. Then give them like a special ability. Like uh, pay like 10 mana, take an extra turn, pay 10 mana, counter target spell, gain life, deal damage, opponent loses life, or you lose life and draw card, something to that effect. I mean... They don't have to be super cheap. You can give them a cost, kind of like the One Ring, but give them a special effect. Plus, you can have the Infinity Gauntlet. You can make a card based on the Infinity Gauntlet. Like so? Oh, that's Hulk. I think somebody already did this, but make it 
like um, Thanos in the Infinity Gauntlet, in which if you have the Infinity Gauntlet, like um, you take an extra turn, you deal damage to the opponent, pay one life, draw a card, gain life, counter target spell, like it'll make you the most powerful player on the field, especially in Commander. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. The possibilities here are amazing. And can you imagine a green deck that uses the Hulk? Like a 6-6 six, six hasted trample creature or a 7-7 seven, seven trample for 4? I'd be excited to see a Hulk smash deck using universes beyond. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. So, are you guys also excited for universes beyond? Kindly comment below. Once again, Idea Machine here with the Sly Guy. We're signing off right to